Hey there, where did you plan to be this Friday at 9 p.m. Central Time? Why not join us over at vonlive.tv slash packedpokeset with our special guest host this week. You don't want to miss it. What is news undies? It's social schadenfreude. You are the rear seat window passenger in a twin otter. All the other passengers have taken to fighting, literally fighting, over the last package of pretzel sticks, unaware of the fact that there's plenty of peanuts and we'll be landing in six minutes anyway. They're also completely oblivious to the fact that the plane is in a gentle but perceptible dive because the deaf pilots are arguing over the merits of American Idol versus America's Got Talent. News undies. It's all the news that shouldn't be news. Could Surface be Microsoft's Edsel? Could burkas be in Montana's future? How many nooses is too many? For April 24th, 2015, from the stylish high-tech underground studios of Ribbit Media in climatically backsliding Cranston, Rhode Island, this is News Undies. I had no idea that Montana was quite this draconian, but it turns out that the existing law in Montana says that three convictions for indecent exposure could mean life in prison, life in prison, and $10,000 fine. The bill is written to drastically expand the existing indecent exposure law to include any sort of exposure of nipples, including men's, or any clothing that gives the appearance or simulates buttocks, genitals, pelvic area, or female nipple. Michigan, a.k.a. the land of the nuge, now has a bill feeling its way blindly through the state's legislature, which, if passed and signed into law, will require that a marriage be ordained by religious leaders in order to be recognized by the state. Tell you what, I don't care how cheap the land is in Michigan. I just want to tell you good luck. We're all counting on you. Do you have a question for our guest? If so, leave in the comment section here below or come to the show this Friday and ask him yourself. See you at vonlive.tv slash Packard Pokesad.